hello and welcome back i hope you were able to understand uh, all the concepts that are being taught up till now uh, like the last session we saw what are javascript expressions what is the difference between an expression and a statement and uh, all the nitty gritties associated with it now for this one it's time to put our learning to test so we'll be having a practice session of javascript expression this time and in order to get started let me change displays first i hope you are able to see my display now so similarly we have some comments right here and these uh, represent the tasks that we are supposed to complete so if you see the first line create a react app from scratch as discussed previously We've already done this in the previous session. The next one is it should display dynamically one header and three para HTML elements. So let's see what's the first one. The H1 will mention hi your name. So as done previously, I'm expecting you to display this your name here dynamically rather than hard coding it yourself. It will be followed by three subsequent paragraphs first we'll say your current year is this second we'll say your current month is this and the third one will say your current date is this now when we talk about this year this month and this date we are not either talking about hard coding them or talking about storing them inside a variable and then passing them inside the html element using uh, the curly braces in order to represent JavaScript. We are not supposed to do either of these methods. Instead, what we are hoping to achieve is we want this uh, code sandbox to pick the current year, the current month, and the current date from the system itself. Which means that if currently I am in 2022 and I run this particular code, the year right here is going to represent 2022. But if let's say eight years down the line, if someone tries to run this code in 2030, at that time, this year should represent 2030. I hope you get the picture. So here's an example, how the output for the format uh, will be like. It will be like, hi, your username, your year, month, and date. So up till here, there will be nothing new. However, you will have to do some Googling and researching in order to extract these three uh, parameters dynamically. So pause this now and give it a try yourself. Okay, so first of all, we have to fork out our own copy of the sandbox and we'll start writing import react from react like this. Then we'll be importing react dom from react hyphen dom like this and then finally we'll be using the render function of this in order to represent something and we'll say document dot get element by id and the id of the element we are interested in is root now getting sure we have one h1 tag closing it like this and this particular tag is saying hello world let's say as of now now this particular code we've already visited it we know that in order to have some dynamic name here we're going to create a constant and I'm going to name it after myself. And instead of this world here, I'm going to put a curly brace and write the name of this constant right here. And now, hello, my name is being represented here. Even up till now, there's nothing new we have done. Now, we are seeing that we have to add some pair attacks in here as well. Now, in order to add further elements inside this render function we have to wrap them inside a div 
And remember, if you are messing up with the orientation of this code, you can just hit Control S at any point in time, and the uh, code formatter uh, that comes built in inside this code sandbox will head in and it will automatically arrange your code in a much neater fashion. So let's create these para tags right here. Now we have achieved this particular thing. The next thing is we have to do this. So I'm just gonna copy it and paste it like this. And I will copy and paste it twice over. Okay. So okay, let's just keep one such p tag as of now. Now what I am going to do is initially I am going to store let's say 20 12 inside this peer constant and then I am going to represent this constant here by putting them inside these curly bases. Now you can see your current year is 2012. This is being displayed at the right side pane. But what do we want? We want to get hold of the current year dynamically. Now what should we do if we are not seeing our way forward? We'll hit Google. We'll try to search uh, how to get current year in JavaScript. Ignore this month here and then let's say we head over this article from GFG. Here you can see at the very top it is saying that using this get full year method you will get a four digit format for the specified date okay but here it is also mentioning that it will fetch this year from a given date object now let's see how do we create this date object so if we scroll down a bit you can see right here it says like using this code like saying some variable equals to new date and calling this date function we'll be able to create a new date object so let's copy this from here and paste it like this let's change the name of this uh, variable call it a constant in order to maintain the consistency of our code and now this particular object is uh, holding the uh, is a date object and what we can do is if we are at all confused at any point in time what a particular variable or constant in our case is representing we can simply log it inside our console so you can see right here at the time of recording it's march 22 uh, 2022 and the current time is this GMT plus it. So you can see this uh, particular current date object. It is. Uh, it contains every relevant information with regards to the current date and time. But currently, in our case, we are not interested in this entire object. Instead, oops, yeah. Instead, what we want is we want to get hold of the current year. In order to do it, we will tap into the right here get full year method from this date object so in order to do this we'll say get full year and since this is a function we'll put these opening and closing braces right here in order to represent that we are calling this function and now you can see the current date is being represented here if we want to further confirm this we can always console log this like this and if we get over here and see you can see in the console 2022 is being entered similarly we can head over to google search for how to get current month and the current day now if we head over here you can see in order to get the date we have a get date method which will give us the day of the month from 1st to 31st depending on the month itself and uh, get month method now the catch in this particular method is it is going to represent an integer from 0 to 11 for the defined date 
which means that if we want it to display January, it will represent it using 0 and December will be represented using 11. So if we wanted to convert uh, to a regular uh, notation, we'll have to add 1 inside the variable or constant in which we are storing the result of this get month function. So let's create two more constants. One will be called month like this current date dot get month and we'll call it and we'll increment it by one for the reason stated earlier and we'll create a date one we'll call it current date dot get date and we'll call it like this now if you're wondering why these uh, yellow lines are coming up uh, below these constants it's because we have declared them and never used them so they will disappear once we use them here okay let me write month in this and here i have to write current month here i have to write current date and here also i have to write current date so like this way now you can clearly see the initial result that we were hoping to achieve is now being displayed on the right pane of ours current year is 2022 current month is 3 which is representing march and the current date is 22 now one thing that one mistake that people often make is they'll just do it like this they'll just mention the name of the function and they forgot they forget to call it now if you head over to console you will be able to see that okay let me remove this console from here and if we try to hit refresh you can see <coughs> this particular warning uh, is being displayed that functions are not valid as a react child which means that we are not supposed to or let's say in order to make it more clear what we are actually doing is we are doing it like this yeah so we are basically putting an entire function inside this javascript and inside um, in the previous session in which we understood that we are supposed to only put javascript expressions inside this how do we determine that it is a javascript expression that it will ultimately turn into a value but this particular function right here it is not representing a value and it will not um, give us any value until and unless we are going to call it so by putting these opening and closing braces we'll call this function and it will represent a value so you um, either ways you can do it either you can put and call this function inside this uh, these curly braces here itself or to have a more cleaner and concise look you can store it inside a variable or a constant in this case and call it like this so this way you will be achieve you will you will be able to achieve the initial task which is mentioned in these comments so i'll be providing the completed uh, sandbox link for this particular practice uh, remember to refer to it if you at all get stuck somewhere or even if you want to have some other alternative in case you use some other method all right let's change displays now all right guys so how did it go i hope you were able to solve this challenge although that that was uh, not something very difficult i would say but it certainly introduced new concepts um forced you to google a bit so always remember whenever these new um, task or any such thing is being expected from you in any such challenge feel free to google it out to search it on gfg or any such uh, website and try it and feel free to copy paste quotes from online resources as long as you're able to understand what that quote stands for like the way we substituted some methods and like the creation of the object of the date object regarding usage of get uh, year or month or date like that 
always feel free to uh, let's say search around and copy around whatever code is available there i hope you were able to complete it if you're not able to complete it or you face any uh, particular difficulty for this uh, particular session feel free to comment uh, below and let me know if any modifications need to be made in the upcoming sessions and regarding this practice session that will be all from my end i'll see you in the next one